Hi, in this presentation we are going to talk about uh, least common multiples, uh, uh, least common multiple. Uh, it's also called lowest common multiple. Uh, uh, I've written it down that LCM uh, or least, least common multiple is the first common multiple in the list of numbers multiples. Now multiples are numbers from times tables. So when I write down three's times table uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, they are multiples of 3. Uh, you can pick a multiple of 3, you know, let's say you call 51 as a multiple of 3 as well, uh, but generally we write it down as a times table. Now, uh, when, when you've got more than one number and you need to find the least common multiple, the most common method is that you write down the times table. Okay, maybe up to 10, 12, you know, you write first 10 or 12 multiples of both numbers uh, and then what you do is you try picking the first common multiple in both lists, right? So let's try finding, uh, let's make a start with, uh, with a very straightforward example. Uh, let's try finding least common multiple of 3 and 5, right? So, what's the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5? So, what do I need to do for that? 3 and 5. So, I will write down multiples of 3 first. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, uh, 27, and then next one is 30. I will stop here. Then I will write down multiples of 5, which are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. Uh, and I can see I will go ahead with 45, 50. That's good enough. Now, out of both these lists, uh, list of multiples, what I need to do is I need to find the lowest common multiple. So I can see when I look at this list carefully, this list carefully, I can spot 15 here and 15 here. So 15 is the lowest common or least common multiple of 3 and 5, right? If you go further on, you will notice 30 there and 30 there. And if you keep going on and on, you will keep finding common multiples. But, but the point is to find the lowest common multiple, least common multiple, right? So that's what we do. We do exactly the same thing if we have got three numbers. For example, if you've got four, six, and eight, you can do exactly the same thing. So you can write down multiples of four, then multiples of six, and multiples of eight, and try finding a common multiple out of three lists now. So when I write multiples of four, four, eight, uh, 12, 16, uh, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. That's good enough size. I mean, sometimes you have to extend it because you don't find common multiple uh, in first 10 multiples. So write down 6 is multiple, 6, 12, 18, uh, 24, 30, and 36, 42, 48, and if I go further on, it's 54 and 60. Right, um, and then I look for eight multiples, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, uh, thirty-two, forty, forty-eight, uh, fifty-six, sixty-four. Uh, okay, and then I guess seventy-two and eighty. Now, if I look look at all three lists, uh, problem is. I can see a common multiple here, 4 and 6, but that 12 is not in 8's multiples. So I need to find a multiple which is there in all three of them. Right, now I can I can spot 24. Okay, so 24 is the lowest common multiple of these three numbers. I mean, if you, if you go further on, you probably will find 48 as well, because 48 is there, 48 is there, so 48 is going to be here as well. But but what we are doing is we are looking at the first common multiple. That's lowest common multiple, right? Now, there's another way of finding uh, lowest common multiple. That's that's for more like high-level mathematics. Uh, you can use 
prime factors or product of prime factors to find the lowest common multiples. Uh, for example, if I'm looking at uh, now, we learnt uh, there's there's already a video available on uh, product of prime factors. You better go through that before if you're not confident with uh, uh, how to write or how to decompose a number into its prime factors, right? Uh, what I'm going to look at now is I can see the size of these numbers, you know, fairly big. Um, now writing 90s multiples, 105s multiples is is quite a big job. Right. What I do is I write down 90 as a product of prime factor. So 2 and 45. And then I can see 5 going 9 times. And then I can have 3 and 3. Do the same thing for 105. So I write down prime. Uh, I, I decompose 105. I break it down into its prime factors. So 5 goes 21 times. 3 goes 7 times, right? I need to write down these prime factors as a list, right? So what I do is I do 2 times, 5 times, 3 times, 5. And I do the same for the other one. 5 times 3 times 7, right? So what do I do now? Now we have got these... Uh, uh, prime factors here uh, we need to pick common ones first so I can see 5 and 5 here so I will write it down as a separate number 5 and I can see a set of 3's here so I, I will write that down so the common ones should always be written down as ones right and all leftovers they need to be timed now so I've got leftover 2, leftover 5 and leftover 7 now if I multiply them, 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, 30 times 5 is 150, uh, 150 times 7, uh, that is going to be, I think we, we've got one wrong here, uh, somewhere 5, 3 is 15, 107, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 3, 3, so it's 3 here, isn't it? So it's 3 here, it's 3 here, 2, 3, 3, 5. So when we write down a common, then that common is going to go with that. Okay, so, and that 3 is not common. So instead of this 5, I'm going to have 3. Alright, so 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, times 3 is... 30 times 3 is 90, 90 times 7 is 630. So 630 is lowest common multiple of 105 and 90. Right? So what we do in this case is we break numbers down as a product of prime factors. We pick the common factors first, okay? Common, pri uh, common prime factors. So we put them down and then we multiply them with the leftovers. And that will give you your prime uh, that will give you lowest common multiple. There's another way, you know, which is uh, slightly older way of finding prime factors. If we pick the same numbers, uh, for example, if I pick 90 and 105, what I can do is I can write them down as a in a list, right? 90 and 105. Now, what's the common multiple, common number? which goes into 90 and 105 Does, doesn't bother about I mean you don't need to worry about the size of that number I mean you can p pick as the biggest numbers for example 15 goes into both of them 15 goes into 90 how many times 6 and it goes into 105 7 times if you times these three numbers 15 times 6 times 7 that will give you the uh, uh, lowest common multiple okay 15 times 6 is 90, 90 times 7 is 630, okay? So you can do that. If I try the same thing with an, another set of numbers, 16, 20 and 28. Uh, now what goes into 16, 20 and 28 as a common number? I think it's 4. How many 4s in 16? 4. How many in 20? 5. And how many in 28? 7, right? So if I times these numbers, there's nothing common on these numbers now because 5 and 7 are prime numbers. So 4 times 4 times 5 times 7. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 5 is 80. 
and 80 times 7 is, is a 560 I think 560 is the lowest common multiple uh, I mean this method is uh, quite common uh, in Indian uh, subcontinent here to find the lowest common multiple uh, so I mean uh, so this is how we find the lowest common multiple by different ways thanks for watching